Welcome to Thriver TV, the place to break free from narcissistic abuse with quantum tools and understandings. Many people are shocked at the emotional effects that narcissistic abuse has had on them. I know that you may be feeling the substantial trauma of incredible fear, shame and anger. You may agonize over what is going to happen to you in your life now and to those you love. And how on earth did you let this get so bad and allow all of these things to happen to you? Maybe that's what you're feeling. And how could this person be so cruel, malicious and conscienceless to do the things that they did? Your emotional traumas may be so activated that it feels almost impossible to do normal tasks and to get on with your life. How do you process these intense emotions? How do you let them go so that you can continue with life? I'm going to explain exactly how that is possible in today's Thriver TV episode in direct, powerful and fast ways. All right, so let's get started. The first step to this is know that acceptance is vital. And in many ways, the first step is the hardest of all. And I promise you that it is also the most vital because without this step, you can't reach the next ones. Traditionally, there was a belief that there was a necessary process and a long timeline for moving through grief and loss. On the forefront of narcissistic abuse recovery, I promise you that this isn't necessary. There are inner processes that surpass the need for these drawn out stages, such as shock, denial, pain and guilt, anger, depression and so on and so forth. These stages can be shifted out and moved through much more quickly. This is not about rushing them. This is about ensuring that you don't have to go through extended emotional agony that just isn't necessary for true recovery. The deeper quantum path and spiritual truth that starts with acceptance takes you from having a normal and often extreme suffering experience to a more extraordinary experience that teaches you that pain is inevitable yet indefinite and ongoing suffering is no longer necessary. The truth is by the time you need healing, you've already been through shock and denial and enormous amounts of pain, guilt, anger and depression and all the negative feelings that go with abuse. There is an ability to wake up out of this and shift beyond this quite quickly. And I found this capacity to be equally consistent for people just finding out they've been narcissistically abused and those who've been suffering for decades. Time is not the criteria. What is the defining factor is the willingness to engage in acceptance. What is the acceptance I'm talking about? It's not everyday acceptance such as oh gosh that really did happen to me rather it's a deep spiritual quantum acceptance of everything happens for a reason and there is something for me to learn heal and evolve here and by doing so i can take my power back release myself from the trauma person and experience and be able to enter more evolved experiences that are healthier and much more fulfilling for me. And this experience as horrific as it has been is helping me heal, awaken and enter a life that will truly gratify my heart and my soul. In other words, it's the total understanding I need to heal. I promise you in the 10 plus years that I've been helping others deeply heal and thrive after narcissistic abuse, 
I have seen some dear souls get this immediately and others that it takes longer to awaken to. Some never do at all. Regardless, I bless everybody's experience because where you're at is where you're at. Personally, I nearly had to die to accept this. I was stubborn. I firmly believed that I was a victim and that he was a monster and that there was absolutely no learning in this for me at all. Thankfully, right at almost death's knock, when there was virtually nothing left of me to live, I had the massive shift to want to partner my soul and my inner being and heal the parts of me that I needed to. That is when my true healing began. Without this shift, I would have died. I'm certain of that. Then I healed up those parts of myself, which were how I used to self-abandon and cling to people and try to force them to love and accept me and grant me security. I finally learned how to be a healthy, whole, adult woman in her own body, capable of generating this for myself. It took work, absolutely, but it was so worth it. I promise you that it will be the same for you. So the next stage, the next step is be prepared to do the inner work. You may be starting to understand that inner work is vital to change your life. We can't change abusers. We can't round them up and put them on an island in exile. We don't even have the structures and the systems which could reliably hold these people accountable, let alone put them away. But you can, in most circumstances, deeply and powerfully change yourself in order to have different experiences, as well as be an example to others to empower them to do the same. It can be very hard for you to accept the following truth until you start living it. The only reliable way to get a narcissist firmly out of your life is to completely purge them out of your inner being first. This may seem woo-woo, like some spiritual new age jargon. Yet it's a highly quantifiable quantum truth, which you will understand when you start to live it as a life principle, not just regarding narcissists, but for anything that's unwanted in your life. The inner feeling and composition that you have precedes the outer events. When you have purged every vestige of the trauma, fear, pain and heartbreak of a narcissist out of your system, he or she becomes completely irrelevant. Then this person emotionally and energetically has absolutely no emotional effect on you. That is when the spell is broken. They cannot extract narcissistic supply anymore and everything they try to do starts to fall over and ultimately fails. When the ability to be able to get a feed anymore, without that ability, the narcissist must depart from your life experience. And they do. This is totally in alignment with quantum law, so within, so without. When nothing of the narcissist remains inside of you, regardless of what he or she is up to, then the outer will shift to match it. The same goes for every single thing in your life. When it's gone on the inside emotionally, you will have the inspirations, power, and confidence as well as all of the support from legal and outside forces to assist in the elimination of this individual or thing. In this community every week, we receive beautiful glowing reports from people who are working with the NARP program, being awarded wonderful property settlements and full custody rights of their children. That's how powerful this is. The consistent reports are not a coincidence. These people did the diligent inner work to clear 
without their fears and painful trauma bonding to the narcissist. Then solution entered. The inner work is so much more powerful than just trying to obtain knowledge. We must deeply change at the core of our inner being to be different and do differently. It's almost impossible to try to think our way out of the terror, pain and horrific feelings that go with narcissistic abuse. It's so much easier to have a process to shift them out and just go free from them. Then you are no longer disempowered by them. Okay, let's talk about this. Being triggered happens. It's how you deal with it that matters. We were all brought up to try to escape our painful feelings instead of meeting them. As a thriver, I now know a different truth. I know that when I'm triggered, it's signaling me to a deep as yet unhealed part of myself. And the situation or person bringing it to my attention is an aid, an angel in disguise posing as a difficult person or situation to help me find and reprogram this part of myself to evolve myself into a more actualized human being. This has completely changed my life beyond description. Yes, I still get triggered. I am totally human. I even share about these triggers on social media so that I can help inspire people to continually evolve rather than suffer in their triggers. Before thriving, I used to self-avoid, self-abandon and self-medicate myself with distractions and addictions. Things such as workaholism, smoking, excessive social media use and socializing, drinking, hanging on to people who were hurting me and trying to get them to take away the pain from me. I used to do everything other than turn inwards to heal myself. And of course, the false substitutes I used for comfort only granted fleeting relief and the pain kept coming back because I didn't understand that the triggers were the signal to heal myself. Now, I adore being triggered with any feelings of fear, shame, anger, and pain that is the human experience. Absolutely, I feel it. I'm a sensitive person, just as I know many of you are too. Now I fully embrace courageously my opportunity for evolution. What else is there to do if I don't want a crappy life stuck in repeat with the same pain? I'm sick of that. I know that when I get triggers, if I turn inwards with love to myself and do a quantum freedom healing module, which is NARP, then I will release the trauma and the accompanying painful and false belief systems and immediately re reprogram them with my super conscious source self. Then automatically I'm changed. I'm no longer the old program of the painful emotions. I've shifted into peace, wisdom and solution instead. And this means the panic, helplessness and hopelessness is gone and is replaced with a solid and sound understanding of what to do. I promise you that you will have the same experiences when you start living this life. There is another incredible and beautiful benefit. As you evolve upwards, you don't have to keep repeating the same painful cycles. You reach into higher echelons of love and life, ones that you don't you didn't have access to before doing the inner work. And no longer will you keep saying, why is my life always like this? Because you will be in the driver's seat of changing it for real. If you deeply understand this, please pause this video and let me know in your comments below by writing, I get it. If you are ready to access this level of healing by doing the necessary inner healing, then join me by clicking the link at the top right of this video.
And if you enjoyed this, I'd love you to like and share it with other people who you know are also struggling with processing their emotional suffering. And as always, I look forward to answering your comments and your questions below. So you know how it goes. Keep smiling and keep healing, keep thriving because there's nothing else to do. Lots of love. Bye-bye.